we're gonna have to go back to California this week because Why? the people messaged me this morning and said they chose someone else. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm All gonna right, be let's homeless. Let's go see if we have COVID because if we have COVID, we're not going to California. No. Right now, all I can tell you is your positive. Stay home. Positive. Stay home. Okay. Floors are wiped down with bleach. This side of the house is disinfected. And it hurts to the touch, like everywhere. I've never experienced that before, and I feel like I have a fever. So, Gigo, how are you feeling this morning? Good. Good? Come on, let's see. Your forehead doesn't feel so hot, and your cheeks are cold, and you just woke up, so I don't know. Oh, well, you're good, Geek. You feel a lot better. Should we go get tested? Yeah. Another beautiful thing to add on to our list of craziness happening in our lives. We're gonna have to go back to California this week. Why? Because Why? the people messaged me this morning and said they chose someone else. And good luck with your endeavors for and looking you. for places. So both places said no, so we have to go. And I don't want to live in the third place. Ugh. Might have to live at the beach house for I don't know what we're gonna do. Soon. I don't right. know what I'm gonna do. I'm All gonna right, be homeless. Let's go see if we have COVID, because if we have COVID, we're not going to California. No. How do you guys feel? We both feel like crap. Oh no. Yeah. Good morning, how are you? Doing good. We've got two carloads of people out here. <laughs> Thank you so much. <sighs> it was not horrible. Just don't give yourself no food. I'm clean exit. Is that far enough? Yeah, you got it in there far enough. Oh, they were positive. Oh, and now lay it down on the bottom and then twist it as it comes up. Okay, shut your eyes. Here we go. Good job. Good job. You got it, dude. You'll do it. Last time you did it better than anyone else. Yeah, you sure. did. A little further, uh, keep further, going. Further, 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 that's all you can do right now. Yeah. Welcome to adversity, Allie. This is it. Yeah. You're in it. Adversity. No place to live and no party. Yeah. Yeah. It's joy. You said you've been living in it for a while. No, guess what? You live in it forever. Forever. Yep. Yeah. So we will just, to be safe, change the party to next weekend and push forward from there. Find your place to live and go from there. I have some balloons that I'm going to pick up today, but I was, ex well, my family was exposed to COVID and we won't get our test back until this evening. And so we're going to have to change the party to next Saturday. Is there a way that we can put those balloons on hold until then? Sarah? Yeah. Okay, yes, I can change that. To when did you say sorry? Um, Saturday the 29th and we can just do 1 p.m. again. Okay, the 29th? Yeah. All right, I got it. Perfect, thanks so much. Yep, have a good rest of your day. You too, bye-bye. All right, I think everything that we had other people helping with the party has been changed to next week. So we're just good to hang out here and do nothing and tell our COVID results and then we can either do things or do nothing for a week. Positive 40 or above, negative. You're negative. Okay. Okay. If you have a CT value between 30 and 40, it means that you have very few viral particles, but still positive. Oh, okay. If you have one that's between 30 and 
20, that's where we see people that are in the acute phase of the disease. And when they're above 20, they're always in the acute phase of the disease. Right. With, Makes with that sense. that line, your CT value is 34.73. Okay, that's mine. That's yours. Okay. I don't know if you previously had it and you're in the convalescent phase or whether you're on your way up. Okay. <laughs> if, if you want to give me another sample on Monday, then I can tell you. But right now, all I can tell you is you're positive. Stay home. Positive. Stay home. Okay. Sarah. You there, Sarah? Yes. I am. Yep. Yours is 34.64. Sorry. Positive. Okay. Yep. Okay. Alexia, 23.40. Oh. Very positive. Oops, <laughs> hold it. No, that's a, that's an aberration of the equipment. She's oh. negative. Oh, negative. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like... I, I have to read these. We, we have a program that automatically interprets things, and sometimes it over-interprets it. Oh, okay. There's... Negative, okay. Danielle was negative. Danielle, I'm you're going negative. number one. I'm going to go back Okay. Savannah is negative. Savannah is yes, negative. We're going to go number one. We're going to go number one. Okay. Hey, wait, we got to figure out everyone else's. Okay. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? 33.52. Positive. Positive. <laughs> okay. Uh, Asbury? Asbury. Positive. <laughs> okay. And Canyon? Canyon, stay away from everybody. 22.67. Whoa, oh. Canyon is the most. <laughs> Bran Branson, Branson is a negative. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. Uh, Mara is a negative. Mara and Branson are negative. Okay. Oh, okay. Mara is a negative. Okay. Okay, now, my experience with this disease is when you've got somebody in the family that is high, eventually everybody gets it or has already got it. Right. I suspect on Monday, all of you with those low values are going to have higher values, which means you'll be in the acute phase. Uh, do not go to church. Stay out of stores. Uh, don't invite your friends over. Do I need to go any further? Nope. No. We'll stay home. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We did it. Okay. Thank you, Ernie. Thanks. We appreciate you. Bye now. Okay, bye. Whoa. Half and half. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think we were the one that had actually. Edgar and the bar had the flu. They had the flu. So everyone who had the flu, what have we already got COVID? You could have already had it. Honestly, I think. The fluorona. So you, you guys actually could have had it, uh -huh. and it could have been just hanging out. We don't know. Yeah. But like he just said. Wait, we have COVID? We have, the five of us have you COVID. Have it the most. Yep, you have you it the, the worst. worst. Because he's, he's been fevering. Yeah. So I feel like I'm two days into it. Canyon's probably three days. He's probably he heavy into it. Aspen you are just starting. You're just, just starting. I just started, yeah. You guys, can you hear him? What he said? You Don't go anywhere. This. You can stop doing this. I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> he said, if you've been around him at all, you pretty much plan on coming in on Monday and getting tested. Yep. But that's not going to help is pretty much what he's saying. He just said, everybody just stay home. Yep. Don't go to stores. Don't go to church. Don't. We literally are hunkered down, not inviting anyone in here or anything. We're... Yep. Sorry, girls. <laughs> five of us have COVID and five of us do not have COVID. So those three right there do not? The nose coverers do not have COVID. And the two of you do not have you COVID. You do not have you COVID. You are negative, but, but Ernie said, if you've been around anybody with COVID, good luck, because you may be negative now, but you're headed there probably. Yeah. So he gave us an option to go back in on Monday and test. Yep, so. You Look guys, at him over there. How we want to. Monday, we can get tested on Monday, and if we do have it, cool. But if not, we will. Woo, we'll come closer to Monday. We'll come closer. I've been Wait, close to you right. all day. Tomorrow was supposed to be my last party. You're having it next week. No, her last time being a princess at a party. Oh. Sorry. I'm staying at Overpool until Monday. 
We let's can't give COVID. little kids COVID. Let's, let's go so that's why we had groceries delivered. We didn't want to risk going to the store or anything like that. What's the matter, bud? I'm just sitting here. Oh, you look sad. That's because I've been crying earlier. Oh, you're not sad that you have COVID the worst out of all of us? No. Okay. Okay, girls, this is what your two options. If you get COVID right now, you can go to Disneyland next week. No, if you have COVID right now. If you have COVID. If you don't get it until next week when we're supposed to go to Disneyland, you will have to stay home and you will not get to start working at your job. We can't. How are we supposed to just choose to have COVID? You can't. That's what you I'm saying. You can't. That's what I'm, I'm just letting you know. I just, we just want to let you know that. Here and stay close to us. Oh. And get <laughs> no, that's. That still no. Be four days add on to it and not be able to do it. So what? What is your choice? Are you going to rule number I'm, one? I'm so. Either way, we would be able to go if we got it, right? So, go to rule number one then. So again, we're, we're we don't have a choice over this. My guess is they're gonna be they're positive right now. They just or they're they're unless they away. had it when they had the flu. I think maybe unless the flu, which is possible. Yeah, they could have had it. Okay, rule number one, it is. What? All right, have fun. Be good. We'll talk to you in a little while. This side of the house is disinfected. It is clean. Well, except those two. But other than that, it is clean. We are washing bed stuff. We wiped everything down. It is clean. The floors are wiped down with bleach. We are clean on this side of the house. We have finished in there. Our food and groceries just got here. So we can live comfortably for a minute. And we're watching. So food and groceries and we're okay for a minute now. Charlie, where is she? She's not here. She's not here. Why are you going to sleep, huh? She left you to stay away from COVID. Get busy. Oh, there you go. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Lou. Good night, love you. Love you. I'm just getting everyone in bed, and I'm going to reach out to Allie and Danielle and Savannah and see how they're doing, and Branson and Mara. Hopefully, everyone's still doing okay. I <clears throat> feel more on my chest, and the cat rubbed up against me, so I was itchy and everything, so it plugged up in my sinuses, so. First day of, first evening of knowing we have COVID, and I think Johnny's getting hit pretty hard. And hopefully everyone not here that was negative will stay negative. Oh, is he a good boy? Charlie thought you were gonna start teasing him. I know, okay. Okay, so how are you doing? I have a headache and an itchy throat, but. What do you need, Charlie? Charlie, I'm seriously cutting you right now. It hurts like a headache. No, you're not hot yet, so that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, good night. Okay, I love you. Okay. We seriously say good night at least five times for our kids every night. And that's not a bad thing. I would tease them, but I do not feel good right now, people. All right, boys. I'm asleep. You are not asleep. Neither one of you. How are you feeling? My, good, my throat hurts though. Uh oh, your head feels okay. That's good. How's your head feel, Geek? Uh oh. It's great. It's great? It's you feel so much better than last night? That's yeah, amazing. It's just, it's bright. Oh, I'm sorry. Good night, dude. Good night. Love you. Love you. Good night, dude. Good night, love you. Love you. Okay, update on me. I'm not feeling too good at all. <laughs> Today has been an eventful day um, in, in more ways than three, uh, but that's okay. And it's and not a bad thing. Just a different experience, right? Um, I have tingles, like like I'm getting ready to shiver, you know, have the cold chills, like you shiver and shake, but it doesn't get to that point. It just has the, sh the, the tingles through and it hurts to the touch like everywhere. So that's interesting. I've never experienced that before. And I feel like I have fever. Sarah says no. 
Maybe I should get the, her hands are always hot. Maybe I should get the temperature thing out just to check, but I'll take a fever reducer anyway. The, the I had sinus pressure yesterday, just a little bit, and then it kind of started moving down in my throat by morning today. It was in my throat, kind of in my glands, and now it's moved down into this area. And I can feel it a little bit in my lungs. <clears throat> and um, I just can't clear my throat, so there's stuff in there. So I'm hoping that it moves through as quick as it's moving down. Really hoping, because I don't know what the next steps would be. Anyway, um, it's it's uh, something that so many people have experienced, and I've never experienced it, so I guess it's time. And um, I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I've been talking to people that have been vaccinated for a long time, and they had the booster, and then they got it. So anyway, some people get it worse than others, and uh, so we'll see. I'm really just hoping Sarah and what she's going through right now. She's having a scratchy throat and it's going down her lungs. She can feel it. I'm just hoping hers doesn't get any worse. Kenyon, he's on the mend. Asbury, I don't know that he's gonna be affected much. Lizzie, I don't think she's gonna be affected much. A um, little bit of a headache, we'll see. I'll we'll just have to watch it tomorrow and see what happens. Stay with us, I'll see what uh, tomorrow's adventure brings. And of course, uh, I gotta reach out to the older kids and find out how they're doing. Ooh, I bet they're having a blast. Just watching movies and hanging out, just the three girls. Actually, what a cool opportunity is for them. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to talk about something. I just looked in the mirror and I saw this Teen Paul shirt and I remembered why I got it out today. I saw it in my drawer and I was like, oh, I just need the strength to get through this. Um, and little gentle reminders are always the things that give us that hope and strength. And that's really all we need. We didn't just believe in ourselves. But this was, this, this was from an event that Branson, along with Sarah, <laughs> and a lot of family members and a lot of amazing people, friends, and uh, donations from people, uh, he set up for his Eagle project a run for Paul, uh, for for Paul, who was uh, a friend of mine from school who was battling cancer at the time, and uh, his family was staring down the pipeline of some really hefty bills. And so uh, we asked Branson if he wanted to organize this thing, uh, along with a lot of help, and he said, "Yeah, let's do it." So he did, and uh, this has a very interesting twist to it uh, because all of his efforts in terms of the why why he was asked to do it during that time and try to find something like this was to get his eagle. And uh, what happened was organized a bunch of people that actually knew Paul and uh, his family and they got together and we ran and we had a good time and catching up with Paul and just, you know, he made it over for a few minutes because he was really in bad shape. Well, Paul didn't make it. Um, and, um, you know, this is just something kind of just a, a reminder for me to just keep, keep plugging away. Um, obviously he went through something much worse than I have can even imagine experiencing but it's again it's a reminder and uh, the the thing that um, I was going to say is uh, the turn was he didn't actually get credit for it um, in terms of raising money for the family so he raised money for the family along again with all the amazing people that helped and then he had to redo his project he didn't have to he chose to redo his project so that he could get his eagle before he was 14 so he is almost 24 which means that was 10 years ago. Team Paul. We love you guys. Never forget that. You are worth it. You are worth it. Not you. <laughs>